gonna plug it in, charge it to 100% because I don't quite know our plan yet once we cross the US border because there's only level two chargers. I gotta figure that out too. So I just plug the car in. Uh, it's always a good thing when it hits its max right off the bat. Although the bad thing is we're probably gonna have to charge to 100%, which it says is an hour and four minutes. It'll probably be longer because it won't hold the 50 kilowatts the whole time. So yeah, we'll just see how long it takes. And once we're done, we'll continue on. So we're wrapping up here at the flow charger. We almost have 100%, 98%. Uh, I think that's good enough. The last 2% will take forever, but uh, it's charging at 13 kilowatts. But now we're going to leave here and head to the Coots border crossing and then carry on to Grand Falls. So this is what we're dealing with over here. It's currently, let's see, 98%, 17 degrees. And we got a fresh drive info here and then 98% over here. So I crossed the border not too long ago. Uh, there's no problems whatsoever. I got there, there's nobody in front of me. It was pretty dead. There were just some commercial semis on the other lanes. So uh, I went up and talked to the lady, told her what I was doing. I said I wanted to see if the Ionic 5 could make it to Vegas. And she said, okay, here you go. And <laughs> that's, that's all that she was wondering. She wanted to know my real reason and I told her and she said, okay and uh, crossed over and it was so windy and I didn't catch it on camera, but there were two travel trailers that flipped on their sides. One was attached to a truck uh, and it was just smushed. Uh, propane bottles and it was just caved in, it was so bad. Uh, then a little bit further up, there was another utility trailer that flipped over as well. So yeah, very windy, although I think it's dying down. The temperature is now 15 degrees Celsius and we're in Montana. It's kind of cool how the Ionic 5 converts the speed limit from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. I'll change the unit measurement later in the trip. Guess what everybody, we made it to Grand Falls. Okay, efficiency, skyrocket. Absolutely amazing. I'm looking outside, there are so many mosquitoes. How is that even possible? Anyways, um, let's see some stats here. So we arrived with 41%, uh, trip was 209.1 kilometers, the efficiency was 4.5, so mid fours. Before it was threes, now we're in the fours, that was great. The trip took two hours and nine minutes, it's currently 8.46. And uh, this is level two uh, charge point charger, so I'm gonna plug it in and then plan what to do without getting eaten by all these damn mosquitoes. <laughs> So I plugged in the level two charger, which is a uh, charge point, and it's going at six kilowatts right now. So we need 60% to get to our next location, and that will take two hours and 10 minutes. Again, there are no level three chargers uh, in this city or our next city. So we got to get to Butte as quickly as possible, and that will resume the level three chargers. So right now we're at 45%. We need to get to 60 about so that we can carry on. And there you can see there, two hours and 10 minutes. I did uh, just go to across the street to Albertsons. It's a grocery store and I got some groceries to eat uh, some sandwiches again and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll enjoy that. And I'll uh, update you guys in two hours and 10 minutes. So it's currently 1.58 a.m. I uh, crawled in the back there and tried to sleep for a bit. I did for a couple hours, but then it got way, way, way too cold. So uh, I have the heat on now. I think I'm just gonna press on. We currently have 75%. So that should be enough for now to continue on. I think I'm gonna go out for a rest station because I need to go to the bathroom. So yeah, I'll uh, continue on down south and see how far we get. Again, it's 1.58 a.m., 75%. Let's carry on.
So it's still pretty early in the morning. It's six o'clock a.m. right on the dot. Just charged for a couple hours here at Starbucks. Uh, I should have enough now to get over to Butte. Um, from there, we carry on. So uh, yeah, here we go. We got 51% and 146 kilometers. So that should be enough and we'll update you when we get there. We made it to Butte. The weather got so very sketchy. Um, snow, sleet, ice. It's uh, It went down to one degree and now it's two degrees here. Um, so let's see some things here. We got 16% battery left. Our trip was 114 and a half kilometers. Our average efficiency was actually pretty good because of a big hill and the slow speeds that we were going. So 4.6, so that's really good and uh, we only have 49 kilometers. So there's a warning here and down here. Um, something must be blocking the sensors on the front, maybe ice or, or some other bugs or something like that, I don't know. But uh, a couple of the systems shut off there on me, so I gotta probably wipe them off when we continue on. But uh, I also wanna show you something here. So you can see that truck there in my side mirror, but can you see Oh, I guess we can't really do it, but can you see that charger back there? Look at how terrible that back window is. It's always so filthy and you can't see anything. But uh, on a more positive note, we're at an, an Electrify America charger. So this will be our first 350 kilowatt charger. It is cold here today, so let's see what we get. So I'll go plug it in and come back and see. I had some pretty high hopes for Electrify America. So the 350 kilowatt charger, I plugged it in, started charging, it ramped all the way up to like 200 kilowatts. And then you could hear it humming and charging and then it would quit and it would fall off on the screen, the charging, uh, the kilowatts. And then it would quit and then a second later, it'd go back up and then quit and then go back up again. And then after a few times of that, it just ended the whole session. So I unplugged it, started a new session, same thing. It would do it would ramp up and then kind of it's like it almost turned off and then ramp back up again and then turned off so uh i moved over to the 150 kilowatt charger and i just got it plugged in and it took about three tries to initiate the charge it said failed and on the app for the third time it said failed too and i was just about to go out and unplug it and it said charging initiated so it's currently charging at 131 kilowatts. So I'll just leave that for now and won't I won't touch a single thing. So after this, I think uh, we might head down to Dell. I kind of just want to do a bit of an update from our first day. So uh, we left Moose Jaw on our way to Swift Current. We charged there. We left Swift Current and went to Medicine Hat and charged there. We stopped off at Tabor and headed straight south to Milk River. And then from Milk River, we crossed the border there and then went to Great Falls. So we charged at Great Falls uh, overnight. I think we saved a lot of time uh, going straight down from Tabor rather than over, but we only did that because of the border crossing. And I don't know if we actually would have saved time because if I actually saved a lot of time. It is currently 8.05 a.m. Had it went the original route, I would just be crossing the border now because it just opened. I'm currently here instead of here. Maybe we did save some time, I'm not quite sure, but anyways, we're gonna leave here now and head over to uh, Dell. Also, the 150 kilowatt charger that I charged or plugged into as well, uh, cut off the charge too. So we only got 72% out of this one. So 72% there. And it says we can go 210 and I think Dell's about 170. So we should make it. At 